Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, dear friends and participants of the 4th Agora Scholar Vision Youth Conference. I'm your host today, Nick, a Tsinghua student and a proud member of Scholar Network. 欢迎你们来到第四届年度会议Agora Scholar院景 我是今天活动的主持人古尼克来自清华大学也是上合国家青年平台成员 As young people are shaping more industries our topic today on social media as a driver for digital economy becomes one of the most relevant themes of our time More young people are turning to new media for careers and many are finding opportunities to shape themselves as a key opinion leaders influencers educators and entertainers. In short, social media has created more opportunities and discovered more talents in new digital age. Most importantly, it has connected all of us and today we'll share the knowledge and the know to find new ways of empowering young people to move in a proactive direction and shape a better future for communities, our region and the world. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Shanghai Corporation Organization Secretary General, Mr. Vladimir Norov to deliver welcoming remarks. Dear Mr. Shen Yan, dear uh, participants, members of uh, uh, Scholar Network, dear representative of the embassies, uh, first of all, good afternoon. I would like to cordially greet all the participants of the Force Youth Conference Agora Scholar and Vision, organized jointly with the Scholar Network Youth Platform. The organization of Agora within the walls of the Secretariat has become a good tradition of summing up the results of the outgoing year and discussing important issues of youth development and its future. Today, the vast region and vast area of the ACO with the Egypt, Qatar, and Saudi Arabia, which uh, this country joined in Dushanbe summit this year. Our organization, the ACO family, now uniting 21 countries, eight member states, and by joining now India, uh, Iran as a member, it will be nine countries. Eight when became our, our countries eight member states in Sindao summit. All mass media said now SEO will be platform of happiness because the eight here in China, they have the meaning of happiness. Now we will be nine. So this number the same in Chinese tradition have its own meanings. The nine, this tra tra meaning of prosperity and wealth. So it is good. Our organization now covering half of population of the world, more than 60% territory of Euro Asia, and at the same time, 25% of GDP of the world GDP. But uh, by assessment of the some uh, world uh, financial institution, next decade, our organization uh, economy will uh, consist of 20, uh, 40, perhaps 40% of world GDP. And what is important in the Asia area living uh, uh, perhaps 1 billion youth aged from 18 to 35 years old. They combine it, uh, that's why there is a huge market for the implementation of joint innovative projects in the development of digital economy. We, in the time of pandemia, faced a big challenge for us. But at the same time, it became a big opportunity when digital economy began to be in demand in all countries and China showed with good example how successfully to use to avoid these all negative impacts of pandemia. And uh, most, uh, at, this, uh, at the last Dushanbe summit, the heads of states spoke about strengthening cooperation in the field of science, technology, and innovation, creating favorable condition for the development of science and technology, and at the same time, uh, developing into action in the field of digital technologies. In the Bishkek summit in 2015, it was adopted conception on the, the cooperation in, in SEO framework for digitalization and developing uh, information communication technologies. At the same time, 
in the uh, uh, Dushanbe summit, it was adopted appeal uh, for developing digital economy. The same decision made in Moscow uh, summit last year when uh, it uh, proved the program for multilateral cooperation. So today in Asia area, more focus on digitalization, on uh, digital economy, and uh, uh, this year in August, it was in Chunxin organized its special forum, first forum in framework of our organization, International Forum on Digital Economy. With the, uh, uh, that's why the modern world is on the verge of unprecedented revolutionary technological changes. The future belongs to those who can leverage the enormous potential of the IT industry to create innovative solutions and solve social problems. In order to meet the requirements of modernity, the member states regularly hold various competitions and events with the popularizing science and technology among the young generation. By initiative of Prime Minister of China, Mr. Li Qixian, in the uh, meeting of head of governments in the uh, Tashkent last uh, in 2019, it, he was proposed to implement in Asia area international mm, uh, business incubator, international youth business incubator. And uh, this center for transforming technology, which is more directed for implementation of these initiatives, will open it in Sindao in framework of uh, pilot zone for tr regional trade economy cooperation. The annual Agora conference also serves as a platform for dialogue between young business leaders to explore opportunities for business cooperation in the Asia region. I am convinced that the Asia region, with the creative use and rapid digitalization process that daily accelerate our economic development, will become the locomotive of the global economy in the coming decades. That is why youth entrepreneurship is also a key topic on our agenda. Facilitating the exchange of international talents is a key prerequisite for successful regional economic development. Thus, we must take seriously the opportunity that Agora presents to brainstorm actionable steps to co-nurture young talents. Dear friends, over the past two years, the coronavirus pandemic has seen a surge in social media and e-commerce activity, about which I said already. For example, e-commerce sales in China already reached 1.8 trillion US dollar last year. The number of users on live streaming platforms grew to 670 million in uh, 2020, accounting for 62 percent of the total number of internet users in China. Chinese live streaming industry revealed that the streamers became a new carrier in 2020, where young people play an integral part, role. Revenue in the video streaming segment is projected to reach half billion US dollar this year. There is no doubt that this powerful trend will have a long-term impact on the choices young people make about their career and leave a lasting mark on society. Therefore, it is important to study, discuss, and find new solutions for the development of the Generation SEO, while at the same time taking action against the destructive influence of data platform for the development of young person. What we face it in coronavirus time, isolation. Isolation when our young generation isolated from their schools, from their universities, because perhaps 80% of world young people, uh, education system trans transform it to online and distance. But at the same time, internet used by destructive forces terroristic, extremistic, which try to organize a crime, drug sellers to, uh, uh, to recruit young people from our countries to their destructive activity. That's why in 2018, in ACO Summit, our leaders made appeal to young generation, a special program adopted for implementation of this appeal, where 
especially our leaders focused on creating conditions for uh, giving opportunity for our young people to implement their potential by rising education, at the same time by uh, rising their skills in information technology. I believe that today's event will become a vivid indicator of the involvement of the young generation in the development of the digital economy in an innovative and original way. I would like to express my gratitude to the Shanghai House uh, CGT Digital Skill Road Company and Jun Guan Sun Science Fiction Industry Innovation Center for support in organizing this uh, event. The program which prepared today for our uh, members of conference uh, now uh, giving uh, floor for more prominent young people who have who made their success, who made their own fortune. Who is a successful people? We have a lot of example here over the world in China, in Silicon Valley. If we look to the founder of such successful people like founder of Apple, Microsoft, Tencent, WeChat, Duo Duo, or uh, Alibaba. Another, a lot of some, or the same, as I now uh, mentioned, this company, the, the successful people, the people who made their business for not for own benefits, but when doing this business for benefit of people, when his business will be, his activity will bring more service, who the, his activity will make this easy their life. This business will be very successful. This founder, this man who stayed behind of this will be uh, very successful and they will be uh, satisfied by their life, by their activity. I'm sure that the participants today, both of, offline and online, will gain new knowledge that will help them in future car their career growth and nurturing of the new talents. Uh, and uh, we are now in the eve of the new year. By the Chinese calendar, it will be year of tiger. And I wish in this new year more happiness, good health, and uh, 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 at the same time, a successful life and good career. And I wish all the conference participants today fruitful discussions. Uh, uh, today, maybe it will be my last participation in Agora conference in offline. But I am sure <laughs> now uh, online became our reality. Sometimes it is difficult to, to now uh, make, uh, uh, identify which is more better, offline or online. If on, offline, I remember first year of my activity here as a general secretary general, I could participate during months, maybe one or two conference because my schedule, because it is a, uh, uh, some flight schedule, it is more dependent to this. But today, I sometimes I put during day I participate in two or three conferences, <laughs> even more. And at least that's why uh, I uh, not saying you all goodbye, but I'm saying that we all will be together. Thank you very much.